Today I'll teach you how to modify a structure in Avogadro so you can use it as a computational input. So here we have an example of a structure. Um, when you've loaded it in, make sure you have one molecule, all the hydrogen atoms are there, and be sure that you don't have anything that's not properly connected or any atoms that aren't in the proper configurations. So in this case we have the nickel cod complex, bidente NHC, and we're going to remove the cod and replace it with NO. So we go to the pencil tool and you want to unclick adjust hydrogens. This is a really important thing when you're modifying a structure. Otherwise it will automatically add hydrogen atoms in different places. So we can use the arrow to select and then you can just press the delete button to delete any atoms that you don't want. To rotate again, use the blue tool. You can see here's a floating hydrogen atom we didn't delete. So again, go back to the arrow, click on it, and press delete. So now we have our molecule. I would recommend centering at this point before we add NO to it. So for this molecule, we're going to center by using the parallel button. We're going to click on the backbone carbons aligned with X. And then we're going to rotate again and click on the metal center and the back carbon in the middle, the linker carbon and aligned with Y. Okay, and so now we should have our metal center at zero, zero, and our backbone carbon also on the zero plane. So now to add an atom, we can click the pencil, click nitrogen, and have it go out. So at this point, we're just doing it visually, and then we'll put an oxygen on it. And then after you've done that, you'll want to rotate. So you can see it's in a pretty reasonable position, probably. And so at this point, you should save it. So we're going to do save as. We're going to save it as an XYZ file. And this is just to check. So now within Avogadro, you actually can do a basic geometry optimization. So we go to extensions and press optimize geometry. So the reason we saved it before is sometimes the geometry optimization goes totally bonkers. And so you want to make sure you've saved it before you optimize, just in case you have to go back. So we just say OK. And so in this case, you can see it optimized to a different structure. It made the NO side on, um, which actually is probably OK. So we might want to save this one as well. And I would use both as a computational input. So I'm going to call save as. And there you go. So to check your coordinates, you want to open them up in brackets or in a different text editor. So on a PC, it would be Crimson Editor. And when you added those atoms into the molecule, so in this case, NO, Avogadro put them at the end of the XYZ file. So you want to actually copy this NO from the bottom and put it right under nickel at the top. The reason for this is in Orca, when you run your calculation, um, it'll always output in the order that you put the atoms in your XYZ coordinates, and this will make your output much easier to read. So you can see now what our approximate bond distances are. So if we want to make it really even and a linear NO, we can change the coordinates that are close to zero to be exactly zero. You can see these center coordinates show the bond lengths. So in this case, we have again zero for Z, and then we only change the Y component. So in this case, 1.7 is a reasonable bond length for nickel nitrogen, um, and then 1.73.2. So let's make that one. You have 1.5. That's also a reasonable starting point for the calculation. So now we can save this. 
and then you can copy these coordinates into your ORCA input file. So that's all. Thanks for listening.